Hello and welcome to Math World. Today we're going to talk about combining like terms. So combining like terms is a phrase used to help us simplify our problems. And what we mean by combine is we mean add and subtract. So this only applies to adding or subtracting. In like terms, like terms just means the same. So we're looking to identify terms that are the same and and terms we're just talking about variables. So that's X, Y, M, A, any of the letters. All right, so we've actually been doing combined like terms since we were kids. Seven plus two is, they are both like terms, they're both numbers, so we can combine them, we can add them. Now, the same method applies when we have variables. If we have two variables, like seven X and two X, we can combine those to make 9x. Now the trick is, is that we cannot combine terms that are not like. So 7x and 2, well there's no variable over here matching this variable, so we cannot combine them. And they only go that far, we can just rewrite it because it can't go any farther. Now this also applies with different variables like 7x plus 2y. These cannot be combined because they're not like terms. Now, if we have multiple of these, say we have 7x plus 2y plus 3x plus 5, well, we're looking for the terms that are like. I like to circle my terms to help find them. I see a 7x, a plus 2y, a plus 3x, and a plus Five. Look for the ones that have the same variable or just are a simple number. I only see 7x and 3x, so those are the ones I'll combine. The rest of it I just have to rewrite because it can't go any farther. Okay? Now let's see it a little bit trickier. We can combine our combined like terms with our inverse operation. So if we have a problem that says 5 minus 3x equals 10 plus 7x. Well, we want to isolate the variables just like we did before, the inverse operation. However, this time, the first thing I want to do is get those like terms together. I have to kind of simplify the problem. We want x to be alone, but right now there's two x's. So I want to actually reunite these x's by using inverse operation. I like to start with the one that is easier. So I'm going to subtract 3x. Yep, I'm going to subtract that whole term. That whole plus 3x is going to get subtracted. I'm going to subtract it from both sides. Now where should I put it? Under the 10 or under the 7x? Well, combine the like terms. I'm going to put it under the 7x. I draw my line so I can redo my problem. Over here, my plus 3x and minus 3x cancel each other out, leaving only this 5 left. I bring down my equal sign, like always. Now over here, where do I subtract 3x from? Well, I'm not going to subtract it from the 10 because that's not a like term. I'm going to subtract it from the 7x. 7x minus 3x is 4x. And don't forget, I still have this plus 10. I'm doing this to simplify my problem. I still have a lot, to, a lot to do here, but I've combined the like terms and now I have a lone x here that I can kind of isolate. And now I have a problem that kind of looks like our slope intercept form that I can solve the same way we learned the last two days using inverse operation. I'll inverse the plus 10 on both sides. I will then inverse the multiply by four on both sides. I cross out the 4's over here, giving me x. And 5 divided by 4 is actually going to be uh, 1 and 1 fourth. So the answer is negative 1 and 1 fourth is x. And that's combining like terms while using inverse operations. So you see we're building on our skills here. Well, that's it, and I'll see you in class. Now for a word from our sponsor, Papercut Games. This week's game, Pandemic. Now this is a high level game, meaning it has a lot involved. It's not like checkers. It comes with a huge map of the entire world. 
And on this map, there's going to be different diseases that occur. <laughs> there's going to be lots of there's lots of components to this game, and these little disease cubes go around to different cities like Lagos and Mexico City and Istanbul. But you're going to, as a team, it's a co-op game, choose different roles. A contingency planner, a researcher, scientist, dispatcher, medic, operations expert. And as a team, you're going to work around the map and try to get rid of all the diseases that are plaguing the world. And so it's really actually a fun game because the, you'll notice that the diseases will start to spread fast. And you guys are running around crazily trying to, um, trying to cure them. So it's a pretty high level game. It's award winning. It has a lot of hype on the internet. And I really like it. I think you will too. Check out Pandemic.